On this episode of DPV, we're installing the Summit Racing 3 gauge cluster in my 69 Impala. Welcome to DPV. I'm Josh, and today we're working on the Ghetto Glider, my 1969 Impala. We're going to be putting in uh, some new gauges because uh, the gauges I got in there, the water temp doesn't work, the lights don't work, and so we're going to go ahead and put this Summit Racing cluster in so we can monitor, you know, all the things that are important. Um, it's all mechanical, so it's got this little capillary tubing for the oil system, the oil pressure. It's got a solid wire, the temp probe for the temperature. Um, and then just got to run a short wire from the uh, voltmeter to the fuse block. And so it's going to be a pretty simple install. Also got these lights to hook up. You just pop right in the back there. In, those, in that upper hole right there. Um, so I just got to you know, pigtail these together. Under the hood it's going to be pretty simple. Um, you can see the old capillary tubing for the uh, oil oil pressure on a small block it's just right on the back of the block there kind of see it right above my finger right there and then the temp sensor is right there this guy so it's gonna be a pretty simple job but I'll get the old stuff ripped out and uh, we'll make a game plan for getting the new stuff installed Tear down pretty easy. That's always nice. Uh, so now we're going to work on the wiring part of this. It'll be easier to do that here on the bench. Um, so I'm going to pop these lights in, make sure that we can bring the pigtails together and still have uh, you know enough slack in them. I don't want the wires pulling tight, but I do like how I did uh, the old one. First, see I tied them all together into one wire. It goes to the uh, fuse block. As long as these wires are long enough that I can tie them together, we'll know here in just a minute. So uh, let me get my wiring stuff out and uh, we'll get these lights hooked up. <laughs> So on the capillary tubing for the oil pressure, there's that little cone thing. It's called a ferrule, I know, Alex. There's another fitting that goes into the block that is, you know, the reverse cone. And uh, that just wedges in there and compresses against that tubing. And that nut uh, squeezes down on the ferrule. Just clamps down on the tubing, give you a nice seal. So I got that all hooked up. See the new tubing down there? It's kind of blurry. Got uh, new probe in. So it's all uh, wired up. 
If you're going to put in an auxiliary set of gauges, you want to try to pick the best location where you can see it. Unfortunately, in my car, I didn't want to mount it over there and drill into the metal part of the dash. I couldn't put the gauges over here because I've got my ashtray. Eventually, you know, I have another gauge cluster that I want to um, kind of rebuild and put the gauges up there, try to make them look as factory as possible. So, unfortunately, where my gauges are, you can see this is about where my eyesight is. I can't see it, but I can uh, peek under under the center bar of the steering wheel pretty easily and see them. So, uh, I'm going to grab the keys and uh, we'll see uh, see if I hooked it all up right, if they work. It'd be nice to finally have a temp gauge that works and uh, lights. Oil pressure's coming up. Volt, volt meter works. Just gotta wait and see if that temp comes up. So uh, I think I'm needing a new thermostat because it got up to about 2.30 before it finally you know, dropped off. So the thermostat might be opening up a little too late. So I have to check that out. We'll monitor the temp here and see uh, if it stays cool. Um, yeah. New set of Summit gauges. Pretty excited. All right, well, that is it for this episode. If you want to support the channel, we got merch on Teespring. Link is in the description below. Shop on Amazon via any of the links in the description below. Save money on your meds via RX Spark. Link for that is in the description. I'll put a video right up here if you want some more information on how you can save money on your meds. All right, thanks for watching. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.